President Biden has described the appointment of the UK's first Prime Minister of Colour as a groundbreaking milestone and said he would call to offer his congratulations soon. Mr Sunak comes to office facing huge international challenges from the war in Ukraine to the global energy crisis. Our diplomatic correspondent James Landale has this analysis. We've got breaking news on who will be Britain's new prime minister. Rishi Sunak is the name. He may be Britain's fifth prime minister in six years, but Rishi Sunak's arrival in Downing Street still made headlines. World leaders offered their congratulations, even if they didn't quite get his name right. Rashi. Rashi. Sunak is now the prime minister. Pretty astounding. A groundbreaking milestone, and it matters. It matters. And not just in America. History has been scripted in Britain as Rishi Sunak. The fact that Mr. Sunak is a British Asian resonated around the world, especially in India, where the Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, spoke of the living bridge of UK Indians that he hoped could transform historic ties into a modern partnership with Britain. But Mr Sunak takes office while a war rages in Europe. And for all the warm welcome, many leaders just want to know his policy on this and other international challenges. The Prime Minister may struggle to be as popular in Kyiv as Boris Johnson, but he's made clear he will reinforce Britain's total support for Ukraine. In a tweet, President Zelensky congratulated Mr Sunak and said he was ready to continue strengthening the strategic partnership between Ukraine and Britain. But supporting Ukraine in the long run will cost money, largely from the coffers of the Ministry of Defence. And on this, Mr Sunak's plans are less clear. Liz Truss promised to spend 3% of national wealth on defence. That's a huge increase, as much as £100 billion a year. Mr Sunak dismissed that as an arbitrary target. Mr Sunak will also have to deal with China, which recently launched missiles into the sea near Taiwan. He says China's a long-term threat to Britain, but it's also a trading partner, and getting the balance right won't be easy. And then there's Europe. Mr Sunak campaigned as a committed Brexiteer, but some in the EU are hoping he'll adopt a more pragmatic approach on energy prices and trade disputes left over from Brexit. Ultimately, what many foreign leaders want to know is whether Mr Sunak can give Britain the political stability his predecessors have not. James Landell, BBC News.